Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Warrior Monsters 2 Tara's Adventure. Alright, so this time around we're going to, um... We might actually finish up the Ice World in this dungeon. Ooh, 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 free item. <laughs> might as well grab it. Alright, what is it? Gold, that's fine. Now the location of the sleep herb is at the very top of um, of this map, or of this area we can actually walk in. There it is. We can actually see this place from the starting area, but now we can actually go in it. I don't remember much from this mountain. What are those things on the sides? Um, I kind of want them. They look cool. These ribs. Stub bird. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, great. I like, love that jingle. I want to remember, there's only one item here as well. And it's something you kind of want to pick up. Well, you know, aside from the sleeper, obviously. Ah, there it is. Okay. We can't get over there from over there. I think it's 22 damage. That's not a lot, but that's way more than they were doing before. <laughs> You know, there's, al there's always something I find kind of funny about rock faces in these sorts of games. Uh, we'll use this. And that's the fact that pretty much anyone can can uh, can walk up um can walk up ledges like that. <laughs> I've always found that kind of funny. Like yeah, I look at half my team, wonder how they even climb this thing. I think one of my favorite examples of this, though, is, um, in a game called Shining Force Sword of Hyja. Oh, magic. Yep, you can get a magic key here, so we'll price that later. In that game, they have a couple, like, mountain climbing areas, and, uh, you can have centaurs join your team in that game, and they, too, can run up these cliff- can climb up these cliff walls just fine. How a centaur can climb up a cliff, I have no clue, but <laughs> they're not even affected by it, either. Like, it's just- it's weird. Now that, that game is strange, but... Yeah, whatever. Giant moths aren't too big of an issue. They're a little evasive, but they're not too bad. Anyway. These are the sleep herbs. Blue flower that grows in snow. Here's about this, too. Nope, can't be tossed. Alright. You probably can't take more than either. Uh, let's use an exit bell. I'll probably buy one in the next town. And then let's head back to the castle. There, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. I do want to heal before the next area too. Or the next fight, you know what I mean. Pardon me, you have medicine. This flower will save our queen. Please come with me to her, to her room. Go ahead and use it. 
I wish you wouldn't do that. Our plan called for chaos in the Three Kingdoms around the lake. So I have wormed uh, my way into, into the Queen's dreams to create nightmares. That drug will ruin my plan. You dare to find me, child? Yes. I see, but I will crush you. Then you have the third boss of the world, the Goat Horn. Alright, so typical thing, uh, typical boss here. We'll just do this. Okay, good, we poisoned him. Right, let's see how much health he has. Snowstorm. He's taking 50 damage. Okay, he probably doesn't have too much then. I remember actually having a little bit of trouble against this guy when I was a kid, but I seem to be getting pretty lucky right now, so maybe... I don't know. <laughs> that snowstorm can do a lot of damage if uh, you don't have the right characters. I think my team is pretty good, though. I am actually... I do actually really like this team, like... I wish Terrell knew better skills. Like, he he's very quanti- Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> What? Lose to a child's monsters. So it was you who took the others. I must inform my king. Looks like we're getting somewhere. Oh my goodness, thank you. You saved our queen, Helen. That was a lovely sleep. I haven't slept so soundly in weeks. Oh, who are you? Your highness, you're awake. This child rid uh, you of the fiend that made nightmares of your dreams. I put you through trouble. Since, uh, since, uh, since I started having nightmares, I haven't awoken this refreshed. I am truly grateful. Oh, that crest, it's the spirits. So it's all the spirits bidding. Huh? Interesting. I'm going to assume that's foreshadowing, though I don't quite know to what. Like, legitimately. <laughs> it's a weird line of dialogue. Anyway, now that we um now that we have saved all three kingdoms, I think it's only appropriate to bring the to bring the crest back. That's what we're gonna do next, right after a night's sleep. Y you know what would have been brilliant, but also really annoying at the same time? If the inn wasn't working. <laughs> like, you can't- Like, you couldn't sleep here because you were getting nightmares as well or something. I don't know. I'm just brainstorming. You know, I'm gonna swim because I haven't shown off the water monsters of this world yet. There are a couple that are quite interesting. They're not really that great, though, but they are interesting. Oh, might as well grab this, though. I don't think we've seen this monster on screen either. This is a moray. Get it? A moray eel? There is also another monster you can find here called a seahorse, which I think is kind of cool looking. You might see it. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. I kind of want one too. Do we have any meat? Um, doesn't look like it. I will right, we'll just fight then. There we go. <laughs> I think we're almost there. You know, it might have been quicker to actually use a warpling and then run back, but whatever. I'm fine. I think one more screen. Uh oh, I'm gonna grab that item though. The enemies around here aren't too bad though.
or potions I probably won't use. Alright, here we go. Oh. So it was you holding up plans. The King of Limbo promised me strong monsters in return for the Sky Shield, being taken from the Elemental. Any more of your meddling will not be tolerated. You should just back off now. Do you really think you can challenge me? Yes. Imprejudice fool, I'll show you. Come hither, my servants. Alright, here we go. Now we have the actual boss of the world. Uh, it's the goat horn followed by these two dragon tryhards, whatever they are. Um, let's see. Now, I did hear that they are vulnerable to sleep. I'll try it, but I'm not really banking on it quite working. I'll use Paralyze on the- oh, Arc Demons. That's what they, they look like dragons to me, they really do. Let's see. Wow, I guess they are vulnerable to sleep. Alright, please let this work too. That is fantastic. Wow. Huh. I think I'll start using, like, Blaze more then. I wonder if this will wake them up. It's not a physical attack, but these games do act a little bit differently. I use Charge Up. Heck, I have a turn now. Oh, it did seem to have woken them up. Hmm. This is one of those games in which it appears that waking up actually counts as a turn, so I'll just go ahead and do it again. I hope that Ruby up oh, there again. Oh, good. Okay. Huh. I never realized they were that vulnerable to um to sleep air. I didn't think any boss was, because that's how it usually works in Square Enix games. MP Pass More. <laughs> I love that name for some reason. Rob Dance, Odd Dance. Learn something else too. What? No, my monsters. It won't be this easy next time. By the way, I'm not sure if you guys know this because I certainly did when I first played. That's the same enemy that um, challenged us back in the Oasis. I bore witness to it all. Your work has lifted the dark shadow that lay over this world. He should uh, should be quick uh, to return. No longer need uh, you. No longer need the crest. Throw it back into my spring. Let's go ahead and do just that. Let me show you my resurrected uh, powers. The kingdoms should return to their peaceful states. As my thanks, take the sky shield. And we get the sky shield. Voice echoed from nowhere. What? Well, hey, game dog, can you hear me? I felt an odd power stirring. You found a plug for the navel. I'll bring you back. Don't move. Well, hey, you did it! Raidlog's power will heal you. There's, uh, there, your party's fine. So the new plug for the log's navel. Well, hey, so this is it. This is the Sky Shield. It gives off more magical power than the other things you've brought me. We'll see if that, if that, if it works. That's it. Raidlog is saved. Now, oh no. Nope. <laughs> no game is three worlds big. No good. I have to plug the navel again. That was no good, but this, uh, but this too has magic in it. Give me your hand. You can now fly across the sky on a cloud. You try and, um, you try at the edge of land in the open sky. Anyway, you will go look again. I felt an odd power. It see, I see it, a land floating way up high in the sky. The sky key is what you want. So yeah, now we need a new item, the sky key. Um, I would like to go back to the Ice World first, though, because the fact that the ice did go away does open up an optional dungeon for us, and I would like to do that. I think that might be the last thing we do in this episode. It's been kind of a short one, anyway. Actually, the episode lengths in this playthrough have been really radical for some reason. Like, I've had some that are, like, ten minutes, and some that have been, like, a half hour, it feels like. <laughs> I don't know, if someone was watching this five years now, that won't be too big of an issue, I guess, but, alright. You know, I, I, I swear I bring this up in every playthrough, but I fear we're getting to the point in which the fact that YouTube used to have a 10 minute time limit is not common knowledge anymore. Like, <laughs> there it is. Okay. 
Wait, huh? I thought this looked more like a lighthouse. That's strange. But anyway, in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the ocean, we have this. These are not slippery tiles, don't really worry about it, but, okay, so... What? Oh! Oh, wow, okay, so these are just normal monsters now. For what I remember, this dungeon is actually quite dangerous. Um, let's see. Try this. Then, why? Well, I don't want to use white fire, but I will anyway. You can just charge. I don't want to use the skill too much, obviously. I might have to step on those tiles, too. You know, after this, I think I'm going to, um... ...to breed some new monsters. As I said before, that I kind of wanted to use a different team for every, um, for every world. Because I think that'd be kind of cool. Ooh, this monster on the left is actually... ...um... ...quite recurring in the Dragon uh, Mo Warrior games. I forgot what it was called, though. I think it's like a Stone Man or something. No, it's just Gollum. I think Stone Man is something else. And he really knows to spam that poison- that, that paralyze attack. That is great. You know, Ruby is bad for normal encounters, but great for bosses, and Terrell is the exact opposite. I find that kind of interesting. Oh, look at that, it's the first boss of the world. Don't hit- oh my goodness, okay. I just want to get out of here right now. Ooh. There we go. Okay, we're, we're getting out of here. Uh, this is why I buy these. Because you never know when stuff like that might happen. Mystic Nut. Do I not have a... Oh, good. I do have one. I'm going to take an extra step, though. Good, okay. Well, that was bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go heal, then I'll meet you guys back at the tower. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I forgot about this merchant. While I was back here, I wanted to buy a, um... I wanted to buy an Exabel in a, in a, in a Warp Wing. I did get the warp wing, but apparently you can't buy exit bells. I thought you could for some reason here. But, um, we have a new shop opened up. The, uh, guy who needed the army ant actually is... Like, he's up and open now. I might as well show this off, because I, I just showed off some unique dialogue without even realizing it. He has a lot of cool stuff. He has the world dew, which I might actually use. Um, potions, which I don't use. Moon herbs, laurels, um... Yeah, some pretty neat stuff. Wait, they both sell bookmarks? That's kind of strange. Might as well sell some stuff I'm not going to use here. Like, this Awake Sand. Like, sleep happens so rarely in this game that's not even really that big of an issue. Alright. I find some place to buy an exit bell, or maybe not if I... I don't know. I'll see you guys back. Ooh, oh, that building. Okay, I'll, I'll see you guys back. We'll talk about that later. Alright, I'm roughly back where I was before. By the way, something I didn't notice is that, um, there are actually- well, I noticed the chest over here, but I didn't realize that this was considered a pit, which gives me a chance to show this off. This is the Sky Shield. Well, the Sky Shield's ability. It creates a cloud under you, which then you can ride across pits. A bolt key. What's in here? Draco Belt. Okay, let's see what those do real quick. Oh, you can smash those. That's good. It's all enemies with lightning, and raises max health by 80. That's fine. Now one thing worth noting is that you can't actually steer the cloud. You're gonna go in a straight line. Yes, yeah, so just make sure you know where you're going when you use that. You also can't get into encounters while you're flying. Okay, looking at the layout of the room, it looks like I'm going to have to use, um... It looks like it's going to be required uh, that I, um... Oh wait, that that's that's dumb. Looks like I'm I'm gonna have to smash some of these crystals in order to get by.
Uh oh. Uh, just one of these is fine. Yeah, let's try this. Ah, uh, that's still terrible. I probably won't bother with that. Oh, good, we paralyzed him. Okay, this looks interesting. Oh, that's what happens if you hit a wall, you just bounce off. I need a better look at that room, though. That was, like, a second. Um, it looks like if I go two up, I'll be able to hit that. Or be able to get the chest. Yep. Smart book. Huh. I might use that, I might smit- I- I like- Brave Cape. I might sell it because it probably sells for a fortune given how much, um... Ooh. Huh. Interesting. I'm not sure what Seal does. I'm gonna assume it's like, um... It's like Silence. It looks like I also can't get over there unless I do a little- Ooh, okay. Unless I do a little bit of work first. Uh, this is the absolute worst. Um, let's see. Wait, why is Terra- Oh, I forgot to, um... I'm gonna see what that does. I'm gonna assume it, like, steals, because a lot of these games just have to have a stealing mechanic. Okay. Oh, it steals, um, MP. Interesting. Alright, that's good. I thought that would, like, steal an item or something, but I actually kind of prefer that. Um... You know, I've never been a fan of steel mechanics. Like, it's always felt like one of those, oh, we gotta put in our game kind of mechanics. Like, it, I just... Most games I see that have it just don't really feel like they need it. <laughs> or even want it, really. I'm looking at you, Chrono Cross. Alright, so what do we got here? Um... Oh, goodness, this looks complex. Or maybe not. Hmm. I'm, yeah, I could just take 20 damage and then, um, not have to deal with all that. Ooh, Papa, we can deal with this. I might heal Ruby, um, after this battle. complex. So it looks like an ore to get in there. I need to position two to the right of where I am. That would mean that little, um, land mass right there. Which looks like me- it looks like I'd have to get onto the bull- uh, the, uh, the lower part at some point. Um, can I do that from up here? Yes, but I have to, it has to be done for this. Oh, no, I can do it from over here. What am I saying? And I did see those two chests there as well. I'll have to get those at some point. Hmm, okay. Looks like I'll have to do... Oh, did I just lock myself out? I might have. Okay. I forgot that the crystals respawn. Wait, how do I get out? Uh oh. I'll try to go straight up and see what happens. Let's use these first.
I'm curious to see if this leads anywhere. Okay, good. So you're not actually locked out if you do that. That would have been terrible design if that was the case. Oh, I am- I do have access to over here now. I should really grab those chests first, but, um... I can't do anything else from here. I don't think I can. Oh, no, I can- okay, <laughs> there is way too much going on right now. Mage ring. Friend key. Okay. Is there anything over here? No. Um, alright. Just fight. What is this? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Ah, uh, alright. Um. Believe it or not, the Ag Devils is actually are actually the monsters I fear the most in this area. Oh, the White Fire just kills them all. Oh, cool. That's fine. You know, Ruby is dead. Let's take him with us. We we have no ways to revive her either. So hey, at least we have someone who's alive on our team. I've never done that before. Oh, okay. So this is just how you get back here. All right. Um. Huh, interesting. You know, I never thought of doing that as a means to, um, to get back characters. For once, max MP gain, that could be useful. Let's check him out real quick. I'll probably ditch him after this dungeon. Oh, wow, okay, so he's not gonna listen to me. Um, smug? Alright. Charge up and psych up. Okay, I don't- he can do whatever he wants, I guess. He's alive, and that's all, that's more than we can, than what we can say for Ruby right now. What's the name again? Milky. That's a odd name. <laughs> the game rarely chose that too. Keep that in mind. Okay, so now we can do this. Now I'm getting to get to this platform in order to get up there. I do remember that. Okay, we made it to the top. Divine Ring. Restores MP- Ooh! Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, Meat Orb! <coughs> the Meat Orb is the best meat in the whole game. Yo, actually, looking at it again, what is that meant to uh, abbreviate? Meaty Orb. Uh, I call it the Meat Orb. What the? Okay, um... You can use your white fire. Uh, you can... I really wish you had better skills. Uh, we'll do... Paralyze on the Ag Devil, and then you can just do whatever, I guess. Alright, that's good. At least he listens to me when I tell him to charge. I believe, yeah, just running off there uh, gets you back over here. Okay, so that was cool. I'm glad I did that. We got some good items, and I'll probably be using them. Probably. Alright, so I think next time we'll explore our, the new um, areas we set up in Great Log. We might breed a new team, and uh, then we will get the Sky Key and get ready for next time. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.